How's it going everyone? It's late at night. I've been working on wiring up the um, quad, Quadzilla and um, I'm really pleased with it right now. I just got finished dialing in all of the settings on the computer, the controller. Um, I'm only running 60 amps to this right now and check it out. battery pack have to bolt up the controller but mechanically now everything is fine or electrically everything's fine um this is at currently currently this is 53 volts um there's It's quiet and they won't hear you coming. Obviously, it hasn't used one of these. Um, this is loud as hell. I'm pretty sure it's just the 510, 520 chain that's on here. Um, yeah, so this is 53 volts and 60 amps. I'm going to be running this at close to 53 to 54 volts, and it's also going to be putting out. 250 to 300 amps max so there's no shortage of power um this little guy is going to be ridiculous uh hopefully by this weekend i can have everything mounted up and show some videos of tearing around on this uh once again you can check it out it's sick the tires actually start to uh start to um expand as the speed goes. This thing turns at right around 4,500 RPM. guys see the full project done have it running um, one thing I can say is that if you're going to do this and attempt this buy a full system uh, do not you can but don't try to piece it together I have spent a ton of money trying to piece this together and literally I don't even know what time it is right now but I've been working on this and working on the wiring of this for the past couple hours. The schematics are horrible. Um, I have a whole manual. I went online. There is no videos of how to wire a um, all tracks controller, surprisingly. That blew my mind. I can't really believe that. Um, so it took a really long time for me to figure that out. Um, once again, in hindsight, now that I'm looking at it, uh, I've built, I've come up with a system that we're putting together with electric motorsport. Um, 
And I'm paying you to say this is just that he gave me some advice and really helped me out doing this. Otherwise, I never would have gotten the wiring done correctly. Um, so I've talked to him about actually putting a full kit together that comes fully wired, everything done. So all you have to do is bolt it on. Um, I'm not sure if he actually has the kit together yet or not because we're testing it with this. However, it's, um, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I think the total cost of the motor and the controller, probably around like 1400 bucks. Um, so obviously you have to get a battery pack too and that'll cost you. Um, depending on how big the battery you want is, but I am so pleased with this, and like I said, it is loud. You're ready to take on anyone in a race with this. I'm actually thinking about doing another one and upgrading to the 72 volt. I can't even imagine what that's going to do. Um, I believe with this motor combination and the right controller and the right programming, I could have this motor spinning close to 8,000 RPMs, possibly 10, um, which would be insane. Um, that would be at around 600 amps though. So thank you for watching. Thank you for following this build. It's not over yet until it actually gets out on the road or yeah, and I start tearing around on it, but so far, I am super happy. Like, subscribe, um, and as soon as I get this all together, get it on the road, test it out, I'll send you guys the link of exactly where to get everything from. Um, like I said, it's, you go online, I went on, originally started to go on eBay and buy parts and thought that I could just buy a controller, just buy the engine, just buy this. There's whole wiring comp components that you have to get put together that is just not worth doing yourself. This is a project that took me five, four months maybe, five months, that if I originally would have gotten a full system, I could have had this done in a weekend. Um, so, I'm just super excited about it. Um, I'm not gonna sleep tonight. Uh, I'm gonna try to ride this around tonight if I can, but thank you for watching, thank you for following, and I will catch you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed this so far. Um, I don't even care about painting the frame anymore. I just wanna get it out on the road. So, I am gonna paint the frame but I'm probably gonna do some test runs, drive it around for a while, and then, um, yeah, so, once again, thank you for watching, subscribe. Uh, I have the electric motorcycle coming next, which is gonna be a 12K custom motor. Uh, I'm working with QS Motorsports, and they're sending me one of their newest motors and most powerful motors. It's a whole new design, um, that should be here in about two to three weeks. That build's coming, you can see me prepping it. Also, I bought an MG. I bought a 76 MG, I'm gonna do an electric converted car. I originally wasn't gonna do one because I thought of uh, how what a pain in the ass it's gonna be. The MGs are all non-powered, so it doesn't have power steering, it doesn't have power brakes, so all I need to do is mount up, take the engine out, mount a motor up to the drive shaft and go direct drive, no clutch, um, fabricate a coupler, some motor mounts. Um, that should be a really fun project and also a very cheap project if you're looking for an electric car build. That whole build might cost me $5,000. Um, so, and that's with something that'll get you up to uh, highway speeds, it'll be faster than the car originally, and British, race, British cars are known for their issues. So, no more issues because no more engine. So, this 
Once again, I'm just excited and babbling right now, but... Uh... <laughs> Like, subscribe, and smash that button.